but um Rooney Well the Southampton Oh sorry sorry had to Hello It's a small club A smaller club you have a hand of the middle ball cannon That is zero There's only one slot. <laughs> what can I say? He loves meatballs. It ever happened to you where another YouTuber makes a fake foot draft and creates card ratings for other YouTubers and then your shit gets absolutely freaking yanked? Give us something decent. La Pente Max again. Oh, 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 oh. I have to make some football videos because this shit is unbelievable. <laughs> what is that? What's up, big boys, and welcome to the Pente Mohimovic episode. Happy Tuesday, bros, and welcome to an episode that I wasn't 100% sure if I was going to do. Now, yesterday, we did the 89 Fanta Highest Rated Harry Kane episode. -ia. Now, that was a pretty good card. 187,000 coins isn't that much to pay for an 89 rated card. For this 94 rated Ibrahimovic card, who is currently now extinct on the market, I paid 1.5 million coins. If I sold him right now, I think I'd make a pretty good profit. If I listed him right now... The next one's 1.8. I could list him for like 1.7. He'd probably sell. I'd make a profit of about 175, 180K after tax. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, five different inform cards this year. He's got a Movember card. He's got a regular inform card. He's got a player of the month SBC card. He has a, uh, he's got an I man of the match card. And then now he has this Fanta regular man of the match card, which he got for the, e uh, the EFL Cup, Manchester United winning it. He was obviously the X factor. Could have made the argument that Southampton were the better team. Um, uh, especially Gabbiadini was was incredible, but the difference between the two sides, United put their chances away, and Ibrahimovic. Ibrahimovic was the difference maker. So in this episode, we're not exactly gonna do a tournament, we're gonna do something that's similar to past and present, but it's not past and present, that's Castro Basins and Nick's thing. I think Castro calls it a little bit something different, but we're gonna put together a squad comprising of all the clubs that Ibra's played for, but we're also gonna have a stipulation where if we go down in a match, we're gonna have to replace the lowest rated player at the time in our squad with either an Ajax or an Amalmo player. <laughs> If you guys do enjoy the idea for the episode, if you guys do think Zlatan is a G, smash that like button as well. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below, and we are going to start off with our goalkeeper. Now, Juventus, I'm pretty sure Zlatan won the Scudetto. I know he won with Inter and Milan. I'm not sure if he won Juventus. I'm pretty sure he did. If you guys do know the answer to that, let me know in the comment section below. Played for, obviously, Milan, Inter, and uh, Juventus. Let me know if he got the Scudetto with all three clubs or if it was just two, because I'm pretty sure he got it with Inter, um, Inter and uh, also Milan. We are moving on to a right back. Had to include a Milan player. Wanted to go with Dani Alves because that covers Juventus and Barcelona, um, who he played with there as well. We we're going to go with Chiellini. Have to go with Chiellini if we want a quality center back in there. Obviously, had the choice of Bonucci and Barzagli, but just love myself a little bit of Giorgio Chiellini. Does anyone else think that the players got a lot more handsome? Like, Costas Manolas looks like a freaking GQ model. PK, dude. Fucking shit. We've got Jordi Alba as the other Barcelona player. Obviously, the most infamous part of his stay there was the rift that happened between him and Guardiola. Just one of those relationships in football. Loves Mourinho. Absolutely seems to despise Gu uh, Guardiola. Um, and then also, it was the famous trade that sent uh, Eto to the Serie A. But we are covered with Barcelona and the Serie A side. Moving on to the PSG side, which I believe is where he spent most of his time. I believe it was four years at PSG. Uh, Fanta Di Maria wasn't great for us in the match that we used him in, but hopefully he's going to step his game up here. 450. 50,000 coins. I think he's going for 300,000 now. We are going to one to watch Draxler, who has been tearing it up for PSG. I don't know how many goals he's up to right now, but he is in great, great form and looks like he's found a, a great little uh, landing spot at uh, at PSG. I believe they're currently in third place right now, chasing Monaco and Nice. I believe they destroyed Marseille uh, this past weekend. And then, of course, we had to go with Schweinsteiger as one of the Manchester United players. We've got 84 in for Martial as the other Manchester United player. And then, of course, we are going with the FBC Cavani as the PSG link up top. His, uh, his striker compatriot and sub for the longest time at PSG. Great relationship between the two of them. Didn't think I was going to do the SBC Cavani, but it was so cheap. Literally cost me like 20, 25k to do. Thought to myself, you know what, let's just do it. 87 Cavani looks absolutely, looks like a beautiful, beautiful card with the purple and, uh, the purple and the light blue. Also thinking about selling my team of the year Suarez. I know it's first owner, but that's, that's 3.5 million I can have to spend on other players. So maybe you guys also let me know in the comments if I should sell my team of the year Suarez card as a first owner, but it would free up so much coins to get some other players. And then the man of the hour. There's only one Zlatan. Is 94 rated Ibrahimovic. He's had 99 strength for the past three informs. Four star skin loose, four star weak foot. We've got 76 pace on him, 95 shooting, 92 dribbling, 94 physical. And everyone knows what his stats are. It's just insane strength, pretty decent agility for a card of his height, 6'5. 
Uh, medium low work rates, which is not the greatest work rate that you can have on a striker would prefer like high medium or even high high. We are gonna get into a couple matches, boys. Have a bench filled with Malmo and uh, and some pretty emotional Ajax players. We've got Amin Yunus, the German Lebanese player who we did an episode on in FIFA 15. We've got Ziek, who is one of our uh, one of our reward players, and then had to have an Inter player. Um, that we're not going to bring on in the game, but just need to represent Inter because that is where he played as well. But this is the squad, boys. 4-4-2, one of my favorite formations. Let's get to match number one. Los Gates. You know Zlatan? There's only one Zlatan. Match number one, and we are coming up against a side that I don't even know what I'm... Cupcakes, bro. What am I even looking at right now? Cavani. Di Maria. Classic PSG link-up, boys. I have a 94 rated Ibrahimovic card and I've got one shot on target, bro! <laughs> Referee, that's a pen! Come on, boys! That is the unsexiest move! Or unsexy? It's the least sexy move that Ibra can make! There's only one Zlatan. Boys, we're just gonna pop that right and he's gonna go nowhere else. Come on, Ibra! 60th minute, you shouldn't be getting your first goal in the 60th minute, bro. Seriously. We might be up 2-0 right now, but I'm telling you, without a shadow of a doubt, that is probably the least deserving one I've ever had in FIFA. The only two guys that have played well are Di Maria and Schweinsteiger. We did not even deserve to win that, man! Alright, so I have just identified my opponent's weakness. He doesn't think I can score from distance. You are come- Join! <laughs> oh, my face cam's not fucking working! <laughs> Great player in real life, but has been such a disappointment in this epi. You know when you just want a player to work out? My name is Zlatan Ibrahimovic. I come from Sweden. Zwei is going to doubt me in this episode. But I am a lion. I will fight back. And I will make everyone remember. Who is Latan Ibrahimovic? Alright, we're replacing Abate. We're gonna replace Abate with Arneson. This is the worst I've ever played. And I will make everyone remember. There's only one Zlatan. Come on! That's the Ibra we know and love! Gwyneth and Ibra in position. Beautiful touch with the right foot. Only needs one touch and then freaking pops it by. Well, technically two touches. Shots five on target. Oh man, dude, what is actually happening today? Everything is just like a not even a half second, like a quarter of a fraction of a second behind, which is enough to throw you off because it's all about obviously, it's all about touch with power ups and stuff like that. But I've hit the post more than I have. I mean, I just honestly don't know how to explain to what today has been. Please, no, please, no. And another match that I did not deserve to win. I think this guy might have had like 15 shots on target. 9.4 for Guedes. Ibra was not great. This guy had 15 shots, 10 on target. Another match I had no business winning. This is it, boys. The last match. He's got SBC Insigne. He's got 88, highest rated, I believe, Icardi. He's got Quadrado, Nangolan, who looks to be getting an 88 rated inform card. He's gonna be like two points away from being a club 90 player. Even on basic chem style, I think all the stats are over 90. He might play really, really well for someone else. But for me, I think I like players with really, really good balance and Ibra does not have great balance. He's got incredible, incredible strength, but there's something about the balance trait, uh, the balance stat that is really, really important for players that I like to use, especially if they have high ball control like Ibra does. Yeah, you know Zlatan? Ibra! Come on! Inside the box, just busting it around. And there 
it is! 2-0! Come on, boys! Ah, it's about time, man. At halftime, even though the stats don't indicate it, we finally have what feels like a commanding, league in, uh, a commanding lead in one of these matches. Ibra hasn't been incredible. Wouldn't say he's anywhere near the 1.5 million coins again. Uh, you guys might run formations differently than I do, but 4-4-2 is usually one that works out pretty well for me. I've, I've had a lot of success with it in the drafts, but for whatever reason, it hasn't been incredible for me today. Maybe it was the wrong formation to run Ibra in, but I feel like the two-winger, um, and then the two-striker formation is one that suits Ibra very, very nicely, or at least in theory should. What is? Come on! 3-0! I think his name is Gon... Goncasev? Goncalo Keres? The big man dance with Spike Ibra, Spiker, and the newly arrived Guedes at PSG. Oh, man, dude. You know what? Maybe we just needed a little bit more pace. Three matches, nowhere near the performance that we wanted Ibra to have. He was okay, but he was not anywhere near 1.5 million coins. Gets himself a goal in that match as well. Martial, and then Guedes, the new arrival. Um, the pace man in the squad was absolutely incredible for us, guys. He depthed it up big time. I'd give him a 7.5 out of 10. And look, it might just be that I can't utilize Ibra this year. I've, I've used him in foot drafts, the Movember foot draft. I got him uh, the Movember uh, version of Ibra. I used him in a foot draft, and he was incredible for me. That's his, I believe, 91 rated card. This is a 94 rated card, and it just, it felt sluggish. Now, I don't know if it was the gameplay today. Most all the players in the games felt really, really slow. Like, it was like a quarter of a fraction of a second behind. So that might explain some of the performance issues, but just was not impressed by a 1.5 million coin player. So I would say, obviously, would not recommend buying him at his price of 1.5 million coins. I'm not even sure what I would suggest. Not saying he was bad. He was above average, but he wasn't incredible. If you guys did enjoy the episode, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'm getting my car hopefully today so that vlog that I promised you guys like a week ago is coming and also gonna head over to the PO Box and see what is there and then crack some things open in a few bits. So, um, yeah. Ultimate World League episode here, number three coming tomorrow. Gonna be recording that tonight. Really excited to do so. But that's the episode, boys. I'll see you guys for that epi tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.